A high school basketball game in New Jersey turned into a brawl when Camden and Camden Eastside played one another. But how did it start? Watch the right side of your screen right here. As a player on Camden Eastside is going to make a pick, a member of Camden throws what appears to be a punch or an elbow. The referee would see it immediately and blow his whistle. Thus, multiple fans and parents would spill out onto the court. The game would be abandoned. We would learn multiple recruits committed to the University of Kentucky would compete in this affair as well. The game was held at Cherry Hill East High School, a neutral site for both teams. The scuffle broke out with four minutes left in the second quarter of the game. Camden was leading East Side by 13. According to the Courier Post account, East Side's Titus Bacon went to set a screen and was punched by the Camden Panthers' Cornelius Robinson. The refs whistled a foul as Bacon responded, but some players on Camden, who were on a 12-0 run, were upset and chased after the Tigers, which led to players, coaches, and spectators running onto the court. CBS News Philly would report no one was seriously injured, thank goodness, but the game was suspended by Camden County School District officials out of an abundance of caution. Outside the school, a police presence was set up. The NJSIAA rules state that any varsity team accumulating three or more player or coach disqualifications prior to the start of the tournament will not be permitted to participate in the state tournament. Seeded teams will forfeit their rights to compete if a disqualification limit is reached prior to the start of the tournament for the team. Camden Superintendent of Public Schools. Katrina McCombs immediately pulled both teams from the upcoming NJSIAA tournament. The incident would come at a time when Camden High was already under investigation by the NJSIAA for potential illegal recruiting and with playoffs scheduled to begin on February 20th. Camden High School, 23-2 and on the season is considered one of the top overall programs in the entire country, ranking number seven in ESPN's top 25. Led by future Wildcats DJ Wagner and Aaron Bradshaw, Camden was looking to make a state run after coming up short in the title game a year prior. But because of this incident, the school will no longer have that opportunity.